Hi, I want to show you an Ikebana inspired design today. We're going to use the Rike style. I'm Helen Miller. And I'm Millie Eggert, and this is Syndicate Studios. So Helen, this is our footed bowl in the Grand Estate Collection. So what do you think? I love this bowl. There's so many uses for it, Millie. Um, you could do a beautiful floating candle arrangement in here. One of the aqua foam rings with flowers underneath. Mm -hmm. And just a beautiful, fresh arrangement would be lovely in this bowl. There's so much you could do with it. I'm okay. going to show you an Ikebana inspired design today. Okay, and what exactly is Ikebana? Ikebana is uh, literally the art, uh, Japanese art of floral design. And we're going to do the Rike style today. Okay. And the Rike style actually has, um, in the, the ancient times, they did a bundle of straw and that was the insertion that they put the flowers in. And it was generally done in a low bowl or an urn shape like this. Perfect then. So this works out wonderful. <laughs> Great. And we're going to kind of make our own bundle and I did that with aqua foam. And all I did was take some pan glue and we just rolled it in the pan glue. Of course, you can see my hole there. I put a stake in here and rolled it because you don't want to get burned. I actually put um, some bamboo stakes around it and just when it was tacky, just tuck them on there and they stay in place perfectly. And then you wet your glue or wet your foam. So you just made a whole new little container I just did. out of aqua foam. Isn't it nice? So That's if you so don't cool. have a container and you're looking for something, this is a really great and quick method to do. To make this little um, aqua foam holder, um, you're going to put your steak into your aqua foam and dip it in your pan glue, roll it to control the glue, and then let it dry. And when it's dried, then you can go back and add your foliage leaf. Turn it around. And there you've got your container. Because this bowl is so lovely, and I'd want to use it again on, with fruit on my counter, right. I don't want to damage it. So I'm going to put some um, pegging tape down on the inside of the bowl, and this also will help my glue, which we're going to glue this to the bottom of our bowl, it'll help it stick. I inserted these anchor pins into my foam, and I actually just used my knife and poked holes into my glue. And I'm going to take my glue gun, and again, you could use your pan glue if you prefer that. We're going to put a little bit of glue there, and then we're going to stick it to the bottom of our bowl. So the bowl is acting as a pedestal for your design. That's correct, and, and it lets the beauty of this bowl come through. It, it doesn't take away from the bowl. That's what I like about it. It's such a right. beautiful um, container to start with. So now we're going to start our design, and the Rikki design is very vertical mm -hmm. and very linear, and we're going to do some a dynamic line with some of the curly willow that I have here as well. So I'm okay. going to start with my height and then work down. Fuji Moms. And our iris. To do, and I'm going to put these more in the middle of my container. I'm going to add another uh, layer of these gorgeous pussy willow. I love these. I just love feeling them. They're like little rabbit feet. Now I'm going to do a repetition of two and two um, so that at my arrangement will have harmony. Everything will be in twos throughout okay. the arrangement. It's a really good rule of thumb. It does create harmony and rhythm within your arrangement. And you have two faces. So we want to get a little bit of movement into this piece, so I want to do a little bit more out to give it a more dynamic line, give it a little bit more interest. And I love these bells of Ireland because they just wave a little bit. They do. <laughs> I love these Aurelia leaves, aren't they great? Ooh, that's the texture, they're so architectural, aren't they? We're going to add that down around the bottom. All right, now we get to put in our curly willow. And one on the other side because it's going to be looked at from all sides, right. especially in the lobby of a hotel. I love this because you could use this by itself and just let it stand alone, but the bowl really accents it and gives it another layer. I love it too. Millie, if you want to add another layer, we could always add in some of these black stones. Just gives another texture. Helen, I really do love this. Well, thank you. I do too. And it was really simple to make. And I learned something new.